It's the Tiger Show with Ernie Burchard. I'm here with Isaac Cole and Amanda Taylor. At the end of the show, we'll have Coach Grindy on. But first, the announcements. All right, and bear with me here because this is a lot. All right. <clears throat> Outreach has their first meeting on Friday, August 29th during Academy in Miss Baldwin's room. So if you enjoy helping animals or volunteering, then you should join. Do not forget to pick up your Academy Pass in room 129. Due to our new security me measures, all students entering the building after 735 must show their IDs in order to enter. They will need to use the security north entrance as all other entrances will be locked. Parking passes are now on sale in the assistant principal's office, see Mrs. Hobbs. These will be $10 until after, well, today, and then the price will then go up to $25, but it'll still be $10 for you first-time drivers. Students with Votech classes slash career center classes on their schedule can get an ag tag to park in the ag lot. There are a limited number of these tags, and it'll be on a first-come, first-served basis. If you do not have an ag tag, you cannot, you cannot park in that lot. Excuse me. DECA would like to invite everyone to their first meeting September 3rd, right after school in Miss Smith's room. They will have refreshments, and they hope to see everyone there. The next Drama Club meeting will be Wednesday, September 3rd in Miss O's room. If you want to be considered for the Drama Club board, please bring your letter of intent to the September 3rd meeting. All members should bring their $5 Drama Club dues. Chico's Spanish Club is having its first meeting on Thursday, <laughs> September 4th Olé. in Senora Walter's Room 404. Can you tell I, I took French? Olé. <laughs> After school, if you want to join, membership is $5 for the year. Come and meet the officers and plan for the agenda for this semester. That's September 4th. If you are interested in reading and discussing the current Missouri Get Gateway books, excuse me, please get a pass to visit the library on Friday, September 5th. Passes can be obtained at the library circulation desk. There will be snacks, conversation, and a schedule to read the current Missouri Gateway books. The Academy tutoring for ACT will start the week of September 8th for the October test date. Sign-up sheets for tutoring are located in the guidance office or Mr. Richner's room 209. The last day to sign up for this session is September 4th. Need help taking that first big step toward college? Get the assistance you need during the Missouri College Application Week. See your high school's counselor for details, and that's October 20th to the 24th. Oh, yeah. By the way, we're going to have Mrs. Walter on a Monday. She's yes. uh, something else. Yep. She's really incredible. She speaks a lot of languages, too, I hear. She's about... Really? Like yeah. How many? I, yeah, I'm pretty More sure she was speaking French to me when I was uh, talking to her. No way. Yeah. She can, she's a very multilingual, I suppose. I only speak Japanese as a second language. Oh, yeah? When I order sushi. Right. <laughs> I know the uh, Japanese word for that one, and then that one, and then that one. No, actually, I know the Japanese word. Can you cook that just a little, <laughs> like just a touch? Can you that put that on the that grill? That exact sentence, you know that? <laughs> right. Right. I like barbecued sushi. Anybody else? No? Mm -hmm. All right, Amanda Taylor. Our only announcement today for sports is tonight there's a football game at 7 o'clock. I expect everyone there since you don't have other sports conflict. So Is there going to be a spirit day for this or not? Yes, it is school spirit all out, decked out, red, tigers, be there, be squared. Is there like a club that people join to be all, oh, is it a secret? Is it a secret, secret. club? <laughs> oh, What's secret the name society. of that? <laughs> there's a secret society for... Uh, fans of the game? I suppose so. <laughs> I guess I wasn't told. <laughs> no, that's, that's why it's a secret. Uh, never mind all that. All right. We'll have our mind erased by those little uh, pins <laughs> in that one From, movie. Uh, Men in Black. Men in Black, yeah. right. Shout out to Will Smith. Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and just bring in Coach Grindy. Coach, how's it going this week? Fantastic. Last week was a really, really incredible game mm -hmm. against Excelsior Springs. What are your thoughts on that game? I was just so proud of our kids for playing hard. Uh, you know, I, as people probably would realize, in the past we might not have played that hard and gave that great of an effort for four quarters, and our kids stepped it up and just did a fantastic job of, of effort. And that, I think, showed them that they can do some really great things. And, uh, you know, we're looking to uh, – obviously we got a lot of things to work on that we, that we tried to accomplish this week. Um, but – I was just most pleased with that. And, um, you know, we, again, like I said last week, we're not talking a ton about winning the games. We're talking about the process. And mm -hmm. I think we saw that come to fruition on, on last Friday. Well, you guys did a great job. It looked like a new team. It looked like a new attitude, a new fire. Uh, and by the way, that game is on Digital Berg if you want to catch that. 
uh, with Soundbite 98.5. It's a great, great time to go back and visit that game. That game ended with a goal line stand. Yes, just a tremendous effort. You know, we uh, had a little flub with the punt snap right before, and we ended up getting on it at about the nine-yard line. Their first carry took them all the way to the six. So it's second and goal at the three. They get it down to the one. And then they fumble the third down, and I thought maybe we had it, Mm -hmm. but we didn't. But on fourth and goal from the one, we stopped them at about six inches short. And uh, and then, you know, there was still some time on the clock. They were out of timeout, so they couldn't stop it, but we had to get it out of there. For a minute, I considered taking a safety, Mm -hmm. but I didn't want to give them the ball back at all if we could avoid it. And our kids, our offensive line did a great job right there. And, uh, you know, everybody, our quarterback, everybody did a great job. We got it out enough to – win the ball game. Well, it was your first win in a long time. The kids went crazy. It was just a great moment. If you guys are good and the Royals are good this year, I might have to get a new battery in my pacemaker. I tell you what. Like, <laughs> that game was awesome. It was really It works? was incredible. What's that? Is that how that works? They do an invasive surgery and change the double A battery. <laughs> it is. Yeah, every time. Every Monday. Every Monday. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. What else do we need to talk about? today? Uh, tonight is Pleasant Hill. What do you know about Pleasant Hill? They've got a good fullback. Absolutely, and he also plays linebacker. I believe his name is Nick Rogers. He's an outstanding football player. Uh, Their quarterback is also very good, uh, and they're solid all the way across. Uh, You know, one of the things that uh, we hopefully can take advantage of, it though, is that we'll just continue to get better, and that's been our our mantra all week is that we got to get better, and you know, we haven't arrived and we're not there yet, but uh, if we keep working as hard as we have this past week, we'll continue to get better. And, and again, football's a simple game. you got to block and tackle, and you can't turn the ball over. And if we do those things, we'll have a chance. And you're right. It's not one game does not make a season. Mm-mm. But you have a chance to do something really special this year. They lost last week, too. I think they lost 17-0 to zero or 0-17. Zero yes, and they ran into the same type of situation. They turned it over a few times and had some bad field position breaks. And, um, you know, they ended up being behind early, and they had to kind of throw it, and that's not what they want to do on offense. So um, well, Maybe the stars are aligning this year. Maybe this is it. Maybe. We really yeah. need to turn out a crowd tonight. I think uh, we need to get everybody out and dressed in their finest tiger apparel. Their uh, get all appropriate tiger, apparel. very appropriate. Uh, appropriate tiger apparel. Get uh-huh. gussied up for the Red, game. Red, white, black. Come on out. We have cheer a good loud. Stand up. Cheerleading scra- uh, uh, squad. Squad. What did I say? Uh, scrap? scrap. I believe. The scrap. I thought they were going to fight. The leftovers. <laughs> well, last week, the, the girls got in a horrible fight after the game. It was terrible. <laughs> That's another secret. We can't talk about that. No. Anything else about the game, Coach? Or, Well, I, first of all, I want to recognize we have an award on our team called the Top Gun Award, and it's for our top special teams performer of the week. I want to try to announce this every week for everybody to know because that is a huge part of the game. And uh, sometimes it, you know, people neglect that part uh, for whatever reason. We try not to. Uh, that's one of our main goals as a team is we got to win the kicking game. And this week's winner was Sheldon Blos. He did an outstanding job in all phases there, and uh, we're excited about the fact that we can continue to get better in that area. I'd also like to talk about Teacher of the Week. Uh, this week's Teacher of the Week is Jeff Brown. Coach Brown has done an outstanding job, not just as a teacher, but working with our guys. You know, we try to have everybody in a, a personal fitness weights class now during the during the day, and uh, he has a bunch of our players in there and does a, just a tremendous job preparing them and uh, keeping their bodies strong. Well, you guys are definitely more fit this year. Let's hope for a win against Pleasant Hill tonight, and you're going to lead us out with a with a cheer. But hold on, let's. Uh, once again, say good job, Teacher of the Week, Jeff Brown, and good job, Sheldon Blows. He's in the next room. We should have brought him in. Yeah. And don't forget, you can catch us on TigerChannel.org. That's TigerChannel.org. We live stream every day. All right. Let's lead us out with a cheer, Coach. All right. Here we go. We're going old school again. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs>